Divine Feminine energy. Come through, baby. What's up, Divine Feminines? Okay. Know that you have feminine and masculine in, in everyone. There's feminine and masculine in everyone. So you could be a man or a woman to resonate with this message. Let's go ahead and tap in. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I am so gracious and thankful for the lovely weekend I am having. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling high vibrational. Okay, lost another three pounds. Let's get it, team. You know what I'm saying? Right? People put too much weight. It's like the people that don't want to do the work, right? Because everybody got something to work on. You could be the sweetest, most spiritual person, and they will find any excuse to poke and prod at the next person. But you don't know. The calling that person have over their life. You don't know what opportunities that person has. That's why you got to focus on your own study guide. Okay? So, you know, I don't know how many times I could reiterate this. Right? Everybody always got something smart, smart mouth to say. But then you keep on getting blessed. Okay, then you must be doing something right. Divine Feminine, listen. Emperor in the building, okay? You could be an Aries Divine Feminine, or this is speaking of a balance between your masculine and feminine energies. I could be speaking to a girl boss or a guy boss or anything. You, you definitely owning up here. It's definitely giving... Your energy is balanced. You feeling peace, a sense of peace that mm, you just feeling like no matter what anyone want to say to you, right? You down if somebody's like, okay, I'm watching what you're doing. Here's what I here's what I can suggest to maybe help you get to your goal faster or whatever. I was just having this conversation with my brother yesterday. I was telling him my situation. Oh, how you been, sis? I'm doing real good. I've been busy. I went to I took summer classes, so you know the semester is just now over. I got about two weeks to really like knuckle down and even though my family thinks I'm a workaholic, but honestly it's it's not work to me. It's something I'm passionate about, right? So um needless to say, I was showing him what I was working on. He asked he asked to see what I was working on, and he was like I know you're always trying to do everything yourself, but check this out. Boom, 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 right? And then he was showing, showing me some things. Now, me, if I go by what other people project on me, saying I'm egotistical, that I don't know how to take direction, that I'm emotional, this, that, and third, that conversation would have went way different yesterday. But no, I took it as an opportunity to sit down and learn because regardless any walk of life you can learn from anybody right it's not about who's better who's this and who's that that conversation go out the window when we start sitting at tables with wise people right okay i'm talking to somebody now he had some knowledge to share with me and i was obliged to intake that knowledge and then refortify that knowledge to assist me in getting to the next level right and that's just how it is. When I say it takes a village, I absolutely mean that shit. Right? We don't wanna we don't want to um come through Jay Shetty, a post that he said earlier. We don't wanna cry about the little bit of seconds that we lost from spending time on somebody that wasn't worth our time. When we have all this other time, you got twenty four hours in a day. You gonna let somebody ruin your whole day, ruin your whole week, ruin your whole month. Ruin your whole season, ruin your whole year, because you letting them live rent free in your brain. No, we're not gonna do that. Even if it is somebody that's trying to be forever in a situation where they was only, you know, they was only recruited for a season, right? We talk about karmic lessons here now. You can still think of the positives of every situation, right? Does that mean you're going to be thinking about your exes all damn day? Hell no. I haven't been in a relationship in five years. I've been celibate. 
I haven't even been dating. Why? Because I wanted to get my shit together. What do I look like trying to date somebody and I don't even have my shit together? Right? Some females may not agree with me. Some females may be like, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's a man's place and all that. And I don't say I disagree with that, but I feel like you need to be the energy you want to attract. You need to be able to at least take care of yourself. You need to keep up with yourself. You need to take care of your immediate priorities and your responsibilities. Right? You got to be a good problem solver. While you may not be able to move at, at the speed that other people move or at the facilitation that other people move, you're a good steward of what your provisions are. You're able to still take care of your priorities and move balanced, right? That part. You are learning to master and hone your craft. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are learning to master yourself, right? This is a feminine wielding all four energies of the kings. Let that sink in real quick. You are in inner union is what they call that. Integration is what they call that. Because you understand, right, that this isn't a pick-me situation. This isn't a situation where we're looking to find what we feel we're missing in others. No. You're not running from that work. You're understanding that until... Until... A divine masculine energy or an emperor steps in, right? You're going to wield that energy. Not just for your priorities or whatever else you got to do, but for yourself, right? You got to understand that, okay? People look at it as black and white. They look at it as, um, like, they take it too literal, Okay? This is also giving me the energy of your chakras being aligned, right? Your lower chakras. Your higher chakras. This is temperance energy also. You got one foot on the ground, right? You're staying grounded, but you also are still tapped in with your intuition. You're balancing practicality and spirituality. And see, that's, that's the sweet spot right there. That's the sweet spot, all right? So let's talk about what chakra you want to facilitate using with or using. Why is um the emperor card coming out here, Holy Spirit? Why is the emperor card coming out? Mm. Instinct. First chakra, first house. Emperor also is represented by Aries, right? Aries is what represents the emperor, which also represents all other four kings. That means every other king falls in line. You have to be able to go through the whole wheel to get back to the beginning. Okay, I'm also getting intuitively something's coming full circle now. Woo, Holy Spirit, come through. Okay, because we lit lit. Instinct. I trust that my instincts are correct and I let my natural intuitive feelings guide me forward. I will know what I need to do and how to respond with wisdom to situations that come my way. I have an innate desire to be of service in life as I tap into this feeling. I will know what service I am called to do because I believe in myself. Mm. If you need a confirmation today, baby, you better notice your confirmation. Okay? They don't call it Sunday for nothing. Woo! All right, Divine Feminine. What's the chakra that's representing your energy today, Divine Feminine? The energy representing your chakras today. Mmm. Crown. From the Ruta to the Tudor. Okay, what? Bottom to the top, top to the bottom. You wiped down all in between here. We're talking about extremities. Divine Feminine's at the crown. Divine Masculine Energy's at the base. Okay? This is interconnectedness. This is, this is definitely giving me... Um, 
inner union here. Divine intervention. I honor a higher power and know that anything is possible. I let a higher power have a more active presence in my life. And I know that my life is divinely guided. I surrender to this truth. I know that I am loved, guided, and protected by a higher source. I am open to seeking guidance in my spiritual quest from a spiritual teacher, master, or guru. Because you trust your intuition. You make moves in the 3D, but you never lose sight of that intuition. That's how you're supposed to move when you balance.